you could do a whole lot with $10 million. That's a whole lot of damn money, okay? Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, yeah, it was just recently reported that Golden Boy's Richard Schaefer and Team Canelo Alvarez have offered Miguel Cotto $10 million to take a fight in March of 2014. Now, 78 Fight News, he basically said that he didn't think that Miguel Cotto should go back to back to back fighting top-notch undefeated opponents in a row. You know, he's going from Floyd Mayweather to Austin Trout, and then this would be Canelo Alvarez. Now, here's what I say to that. $10 million is a lot of money for Miguel Cotto. $10,000 is a lot of money, but $10 million is a lot of damn money. Does that make sense? You guys follow me? See, this is the whole thing. I look at this in two different ways. When it comes to Miguel Cotto, as far as I'm concerned, this is a win-win situation for Miguel Cotto. It's a win-lose situation for Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez has more to lose in this fight than Miguel Cotto does. Okay? Miguel Cotto is closer to the end of his career than obviously Canelo Alvarez is. Now, see, when it comes to Canelo, like I said, I'm, I'm on both sides of the fence with this because when it comes to Canelo, I feel this, like I told you guys in the previous video, this doesn't really do a whole lot for Canelo in terms of moving him up in the pound-for-pound -pound list, making him look like one of the best fighters in the world, top five, top three, even top ten. All right. It doesn't this kind of fight doesn't do that for him, but it does enhance his popularity. You know, it's a traditional Mexican versus Puerto Rican type rivalry. Right. But when it comes to Miguel Cotto. This is a win win situation for Miguel Cotto. Now, understand something. Miguel Cotto is a very live underdog. Number one, when it comes to this fight. And even if he were to lose this fight. He would still have viable opponents out there to face. But let's just say hypothetically that this was a cash out type fight. Cashing out with $10 million is not really that bad of a deal. Don't you guys think? I mean, hell, as far as I'm concerned, shit, Miguel Cotto, he can open up a couple salsa clubs, invest in some real estate, and ride off into the sunset. Shit, that's a happy ending as far as I'm concerned. $10 million is a lot of damn money. You see, this shit is unbelievable to me. Because it is not too often in the sport of boxing do you get a guy who's not considered top 10, pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world, who's not undefeated, who's not even a current champion, and you have current champions and fighters that are far higher ranked the Miguel Cotto that are basically fighting over getting this guy in the ring. It is unbelievable to me. These guys, Sergio Martinez, Canelo Alvarez, yeah, these guys are fighting to get Miguel Cotto in the ring first. And they're ranked way higher than he is. Simply amazing to me. And when you think about the fact that this is basically like an auction. You got fighters bidding to get Cotto in the ring. $10 million. Do you guys know $10 million is, 10, is damn near 10 times more than what any UFC fighter makes? That just goes to show you guys that boxing is still bigger than MMA. All right? $10 million. Matter of fact, not to go too far off the subject, but you actually have fighters making their debut that make the type of money the UFC fighters make. All right? So back to this situation. So Richard Schaefer, he is really, really trying to, you know, pull out all of the ammo when it comes to getting Miguel Cotto in the ring with Canelo Alvarez. I mean, he's given... Miguel Cotto basically whatever he wants. He's not holding him to any type of 
you know, options like Top Rank always does, Bob Arum, you know, if I let you fight, you know, then, um, you know, I want, you know, a three fight little contract or he's not doing that. He's not holding Miguel Cotto to any type of contracts. Richard Schaefer, he's telling Miguel Cotto, it's up to you. We can do a one fight deal or if you want, we could even do a little, you know, three fight deal, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever makes you happy, Mr. Cotto, is basically what Richard Schaefer and Golden Boy is saying, okay? That gives uh, Miguel Cotto a whole lot of leverage, in my opinion. Man, if Cotto has been offered this kind of money, and like I said before, he's not even a champion, not even a pound-for-pound -pound type fighter. Imagine if he were to pull the upset and beat Canelo Alvarez. Can you imagine how much money this man would be worth? Wow. That is that is humongous, guys. That is humongous. When it comes to Miguel, uh, well, I'm sorry, when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez has only been visibly hurt one time in the ring as a professional. And I use the word visibly because we, we don't know how many times he may have been hurt with a body shot and he just played it off, which happens a lot. But he's only visibly been hurt really bad one time. And you know who that was against? That was against Jose Cotto. That's right. Miguel Cotto's brother. Now, if I were to tell you, if, if this were the case, if let's just say the only person that had ever hurt Floyd Mayweather and won a few rounds, made a few rounds competitive, the only person to ever do that was Bobby Pacquiao. If I were to tell you that, wouldn't you give Manny Pacquiao a better chance against Floyd Mayweather? That's the situation we have with Miguel Cotto versus Canelo Alvarez. Okay? I'm The only point I'm making is Miguel Cotto is a very live underdog in this fight. I'm not making any type of predictions. I'm not telling you who I think is going to win the fight, at, at least not yet. But I'm just telling you that Cotto is a very live underdog. Now, is this the first opponent that I would like to see Canelo Alvarez return in the ring against? Absolutely not. But entertainment-wise, and like I said, big money-wise, I'll watch it. I mean, it'll be a good fight. It'll be a good fight. So I say, Miguel Cotto, take the damn 10 million and do what you gotta do. All right, guys? That's all I got to say on this one. I'm on to the next one.